Hello guys, Nato Acer once again. And this is going to be a commentary by using Share Factory, one of PlayStation 4's PlayStation 4's one of their spe uh, features because now you can actually make videos based on your gameplay. So what you see here right now is it's Dynasty Warrior 8. Uh, fortunately, somehow I guess the volume was too low and the sound did not really pick up but I want to give my thoughts about this because I finally bought the game unfortunately or fortunately depends how you look at it I bought the game on a markdown I got it during Black Friday for 30 bucks at GameStop why am I saying that because the comment I'm going to talk about if you know me I always prefer my game dub over sub and remember last year I did a four-parter about Hashtag no dub no buy and again for the gist of it for what it is <coughs> excuse me is What's happening now a lot of games from Japan such as Namco Bandai Tecmo Koei and some other ones also Some of their game are they're starting to bring it out without dubs and Some of the people are not happy to it not happy about it including myself and in that four-parter, no hashtag, no, <laughs> excuse me, no hashtag, no dub, no buy. The first game that Tecmo Koei did actually started was, basically was, War Trilogy 3. But there was actually, there was a foreshadowing, <clears throat> the, the reason why that happened. And one of the, what then I said, it could be a rumor, but I know I heard people talk about this, is that for a while, before Koei team up with Tecmo, they were already in a bind. And what happened was, <clears throat> and if you ever wonder why Samurai Warriors 3 was for a while exclusive for the Wii, and people also why why we that's gonna kind of excuse me the language I was gonna say the wrong one kind of like left field was Tecmo Ko or Koei themselves said we're gonna do Samurai Warriors 3 but we need a publisher. We're not going to publish the game ourselves. And what does that mean is that <clears throat> someone else will pay for their development. They'll develop the game, but they're not going to use their money. Someone else will. That's <clears throat> what it means. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta try to clean my phone. So that's basically what it means why Summer War 3. And then later on, they decided, well, let's try publishing ourselves for the PS3. And it still it sold well in Japan. But what happened is they decided not to bring it out because, well, one, it was already out in America in the Wii. Even people did argue. <coughs> did People did argue saying, well, you know, it might sell better on the PS3. Tecmo or Koei basically just said, mm, we don't want to take the risk. That's what they even, they even bring out outside of Japan, Samurai Warriors 3 Empire. And when they did bring out Samurai for the PlayStation console, they decide to omit dub. <coughs> then I'll explain why. <coughs> like I said, the gist of it is, uh, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with my throat. I do apologize. Anyway, is what's happening is for a while, and the reason why they did team up with Tecmo was they were in a bind. They weren't making any money. They needed someone else to take over. There was even rumor that they were going to sell off their asset. But then Tecmo Koei said, we'll buy all of your assets, so it became Tecmo Koei. But because of that, a lot of changes happening. At first I thought, oh, it's good, finding a ninja guy named Dinosaur War in one company. But that wasn't the case, because <laughs> what happened is, is, yeah, they were saved, Tecmo saved them, but at a cost of, well, we gotta compromise some of our games. And some of them were, like I said before, the Musa games were compromised. And basically, what it means is that some of the game, they're not, they might not bring a lot of Musou game anymore. Not a lot of them. Normally, it was, it was Koei. They would bring every Musou game. But now, since they have the bigger catalog, it wasn't really unnecessary. <coughs> and then, if the game doesn't, they think the game is too niche, they're going to omit putting English dub because they want to cut back. And the story with War Trilogy 3 was when they introduced that, people like, Outside Japan, say, oh man, that game's good. You gotta bring it out, please. We're begging you, please bring it out. <clears throat> and the buying was, they were in a buy. Let's bring it out. 
pay money for a dub, enemy doesn't sell, <coughs> we're out of luck. We don't bring it out, we're gonna look like bad guys because, oh, you know, we got fans out of Japan, but we care about money, which, again, you can understand, they are a company, they don't do this for charity, you gotta keep it real, it is all about the money, sorry, that's how it is. So, anyway, basically, that's what happened, and ever since, some of their Muso game, they never were dubbed. And I remember Dice Warrior 7, when that happened, people were flipped out, they were upset, they said, this is so wrong, you gotta end this. So they evaluated and said, maybe it will help with the game. Then came Dice Warrior 8 and Dice Warrior 8 Extreme Legend. Finally, once again, has English voice. However, as expected, yes, there are English voice, but it was compromised. Yes, I mean, I'm going to try uploading another Share Factor or another PS4 video this time with the English voice and the music. I don't know why this one didn't, that's why I'm just adding commentary, just giving my thoughts about it. What do I think about the English dub for Dash War 8? I think it's okay. I'm not complaining much. At least I can understand what I'm doing. Not like trying to read like what's going on. Like in Hyrule Warrior, I, I kind of keep constantly reading what's going on and I don't even understand. And I also bought Warrior Road Street Ultimate because it's a better version. I also bought it in the Markdown. Again, there's a hint there. Still, I'm trying to tolerate it, but I still can't get it over that, oh my gosh, I wish this game was in English. Again, it's just me, and I already gave my reason why. I don't read video games. I play video games. If I do want to read, I would read a book or manga, magazine, e-reader, something that's really meant to, for reading. That's what reading is for. Video game reading is supposed to be secondary. You're supposed to watch the game, play the game, have fun. Sorry, that's just my opinion about it. <coughs> so, again, the problem was, yeah, the game is dubbed. However, there are certain area that was meant to be dubbed, they, they omitted. Such as, like, the story. If you play story mode, there's, like, a history story. Like a narrator, they got rid of that one. And when you're in the base camp, again, no voice. But if you change it to the Japanese version, there are constantly voices left and right. Again, Tech Mokoi, disappointing. I know you did listen, which is great. You did put dub, but you really had a compromise. So technically, you're telling your fans, some of your fans, they, they can't have, they can't have their cake, they can't have their cake and eat it too. And I mean, I'm, I do understand, but I still don't agree with it. I, 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 I still stand at this, my belief, that if you do put the, more, probably more people were willingly to try the game out. You'll probably have more sales, even with the markdown. Yes, that is one of the problems why they do cut back on dub, because their game tends to, cut, they tend to have a markdown, not even a year. Dynasty Warrior 8 Extreme Legend came out in October and now it's 30 bucks or yeah heck since November it was 30 bucks so I'm probably gonna talk about more about this in a V blog <laughs> than here so anyway that's my thought about Dynasty Warrior 8 dub so there'll be more about it so I'll see you next time <laughs>